The render view maps the 3D world to a 2D screen using either orthographic or perspective projection. In this video, you will learn about the camera and mouse controls for interacting with the framework, molecules, and objects. The camera view is the first tab of the detail views on the right. You see here the NU1301 metal organic framework. The camera and eye raspa is always fixed and directed towards the center of the scene, with the y-axis as up. The mouse is used to rotate the framework with respect to the camera. This gives the illusion of moving a virtual camera. The model view projection transform maps the 3D camera space onto the screen as a 2D image. The view matrix and virtual camera position are shown in the camera view. The orientations are implemented with quaternions, but also the Euler angles are shown. With these Euler angles, a framework can be set exactly to a chosen orientation. For example, here we set the orientation to the diagonal view. The first Euler angle corresponds to the arc tangent of a half times the square root of 2. The chosen default coordinate system for the render view is right-handed. The positive y-axis points up, the x-axis points right, and the z points forward. This choice is consistent with most math and physics textbooks. Positive rotation is counterclockwise about the axis of rotation. Negative rotation is clockwise. We use the rotate buttons to rotate only in x, in steps of the rotation angle. The step size in the rotation angle can be changed, and we can also rotate only in y or z. The mouse control is implemented as a virtual trackball behavior, which allows the user to define 3D rotation using mouse operations in a 2D window. The trackball works by assuming that a sphere encloses the 3D view. The user rolls this virtual sphere with the mouse. For example, if you left-click on the center of the sphere and drag the mouse straight to the left, you rotate the scene around the y-axis. Left-clicking more towards the right edge of the trackball and drag the mouse straight to the left, you rotate the scene around the y-axis with a higher speed. Similarly, you can left-click on the bottom virtual edge of the sphere and drag it up to get a rotation around the x-axis. The scroll wheel of the mouse controls the dolly. A dolly is when you move the entire camera backwards and forwards, or equivalently, move the world forwards and backwards. Right-clicking brings up the context menu. The first item in the context menu is to reset the camera distance. You can reset the camera position to where the world has a preferred X, Y, or Z orientation. In the camera view, you have more options. You can change the orientation at a fixed camera distance. Or you can change the orientation and also reset the camera distance. The center of scene is the center point of the framework, which is the default target point of the camera. Next, we have the projection options in the camera view. Orthographic projection is a type of parallel projection that involves no perspective correction. Objects on the screen will appear the same size no matter how far away they are. We can also change the projection via the context menu. The default of a 60-degree angle of view equates to how humans perceive the real world and is also the default for many console games. In the limit of small angle of views, the view approaches the look of the orthographic view. Going up an angle of view, the scene looks progressively distorted at very high angles. Holding the command key and right-click mouse dragging simulates a camera truck and pedestal. Similar to dollying, trucking involves moving the entire camera along a fixed point, but the motion goes from side to side rather than in and out. The pedestal is when you move the camera vertically up or down while it is fixated in one location. Holding the option key and right-click mouse dragging simulates a camera pan or tilt. Panning is when you move your camera horizontally, either left to right or right to left, while its base is fixated on a certain point.
Tilting is when you move the camera vertically, up to down or down to up, while its base is fixated to a certain point. The context menu has the option, show bounding box, to display the bounding box that is used for the resetting of the camera. It is the bounding box of the whole scene. The reset percentage, set to 100%, resets the structures to the edge of the render view. Usually, it is better to set the reset percentage lower, so that any atoms sticking out of the unit cell are also visible. In this video, you learned how the camera and the mouse controls work in iRaspa. Want to learn more? Visit the iRaspa YouTube channel for more videos.